Welcome to this tutorial video. In this series of videos, I will explain the functionality of MCTDHX and how to use it to reproduce the results from this manuscript on the archive. MCTDHX, the multi-configurational time-dependent harsh tree method for indistinguishable particles software. MCTDHX is able to simulate the ground state and time evolved state of a given Schrodinger equation of a many body system. It is hosted on the website ultracode.org. In this video, we will use figure 2 as an example. and show you how to use the provided bash script to reproduce the results. In this figure, we are simulating the ground state of several many-body systems in a double well potential, and we are showing the density distribution in the real space, in the momentum space, and the one-body correlation function in the real space. By using different particles, for example bosons and fermions, and by varying the interaction between the particles and the height of the barrier of the double well potential, we obtain different kinds of uh, many body states. For example, a superfluid bosonic state, mod insulating bosonic state, bosons en route to a fermionization, non interacting fermions, and crystallized fermions. To do this, we first need to install the software MCTDHX. A detailed instruction for the installation can be found on a previous video. Then, we need to download the exemplary input file from the following link. Now I have already downloaded uh, the, these input files and Let's look at what is inside the folders. So in the main folder, we have a Python scripts for the color code colorsmaps.py, and then we also have a readme file. So in the readme file, if you have any uh, thing unclear about the software, you can always come here. And so it has a instruction for the download, for the compilation and installations, and also how to do this uh, simulations in the tutorials and how to interpret um, the results. Besides this uh, Python file and the cut for color code and the readme file, um, we also have several bash scripts and Python scripts. For example, fig3.sh, fig4.sh, uh, so these are the bash scripts. They are responsible for a complete automation of the whole procedure to execute the MCTDHX. They produce the data and, and also execute the visualization script, which uh, plot the data as presented in the paper. For example, this one is this bash script is responsible for the um, automation of uh, the whole simulations for figure 2 and the figure 3. And also the visualization is done with the help of these Python scripts. For example, fig2.py and fig3.py. Um, by directly executing the bash script, for example, 2, 3, SH, for example, in this way, we can already obtain the figures in our manuscript. For example, figure 2 and figure 3. I will show you how to do this later. Besides the bash script, we also have folders. Each folder contains input files, bash scripts, and other files related to one or several simulations in the tutorial. The names of the folders have two parts. The first part, relaxed one, 
specifies the type of the simulation, whether it is relaxation or propagation, and also the numbering of the simulation. Each number corresponds to one simulation. If there were two numbers, for example, relax 7 props 13, it means that there were two simulations, usually one relaxation and one propagation. They are related to each others and thus grouped together. The second part, fig 2 ABC, for example, specifies the for which specifies for which figure or panel this simulation is responsible. A detailed description of the contents in these folders can also be found in the figures and tables of the supplementary material. For example, in figures S2 of the supplementary material, the contents of the folders related to figure 2 and 3 in the main text are shown. For example, in the folder relax1, fig2 abc, there is, um, there is there is a, an input file mctdhx.imp, uh, which is for the simulation, and also another input file analysis.imp, which is for the ana analysis. And also we have some brief description of the simulations and analysis below. A documentation of the input variables in these input files in mctdhx.imp can be found in, for example, table S1. Here, we are now interested in the simulation number one, and also which is used for um, the figure two panels A to C in the main text. We can see that, for example, the input vari variable job type is, uh, give, is given as both, and also MORB as 10, and PARF as 6, and so and so on. Um, this, by modifying the exemplary input files in this way, we can obtain our, our input file for this specific, specific simulation. Now, we go back to the main folder. And I would then explain what we have in the bash script. So this is the contents of the bash script fig23.sh. I open a new terminal to show what this uh, bash script would do. So in the bash script, the first two lines are uh, mainly for to check that whether the aliases are working properly. And then the next few lines are definitions for the par parallelization um, of the MCT of the simulations. And so these are not so these are the some definitions. And then this is what we uh, what the bash script really begin. So in the first part, let's so if we first go inside um, the folder and then let's check what is inside this folder. As we have already seen in the folder tree, we have two input files, one for the analysis and one for the simulation. And after that, um, we do the bin cp. The bin cp mainly copies the executables and the library into the, this folder. So after doing bin cp, we have uh, the mctdhx gcc, mctdhx analysis gcc, which are two executables um, for our program, for our mctdhx and also this lib mctdhx.so, so which is the library file for the uh, program. So with these three files and with these two 
uh, input files, we are able to now we are now able to do our simulations. So the next step here, uh, we are evaluate, evaluating exec, uh, where exec it really means the MCTTHX. So now we want to um, do the um, we want to uh, execute the MCTTHX to do the simulations. I am. I, for the moment, I'm not doing the simulations yet, and a, main, uh, a, a more detailed tutorial on how to do this simulation can you can also find it in the previous uh, video. So after after doing these simulations, suppose that we have already done the simulations, now we are able to do the next step, which is the analysis. So for this purpose, we need to execute mctdhx analysis, and then we are able to generate some analysis files, analysis results. And after that, we only want we only need to um, go back to the main folder, and we are doing this same procedure for the other for the other uh, folders. For example, it relax 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. And finally, we are using the Python script fig2.py and fig3.py and for the visualization. So this is what we would do using the bash script. And after explaining explaining uh, what we what this uh, fix what this bash script uh, is actually doing. Uh, now we directly execute the bash script. So by simply by this comment command. Um, so before before executing this command, I would like to uh, mention one thing is that um, the parallelization can be do by uh, by adding a number behind. For example, if we want to do a parallelization with three cores, then we simply need to execute um, our, bash, our bash scripts by uh, adding a number three behind, uh, behind our command. So now we, would, we should be able to uh, do a parallelization with three uh, cores. Otherwise, in this way, we are not using any parallelization. After waiting for a long time, we have finally obtained the results. We can see that there are two PDF files, fig2.pdf and fig3.pdf, that are generated by the bash script. Let's have a look at these figures. So this is fig2.pdf. And this is fig3.pdf. We can see that they are exactly the same as what we have in the manuscript. In this video, we have used the provided bash script to automatically perform the simulations, analysis, and visualization of figure 2 and figure 3 of the manuscript. In the next video, we are going to explain to interpret these results um, in more details.